So here's a video showing off all the hardware for Robotank. Um, to start, we've got our boards that I've had made up. Um, we've got this series is our connector board and the mega board. Uh, the connector board is kind of like an option. You don't necessarily need it. I've gone with USB-A, just like uh, this guy here, your regular style. And the RJ45, like uh, your internet uses. Um, it's a little larger than the phone jack. I think they're good connectors and they'll do what I need. Um, so I've had the connector board made for this specific project box, uh, so there's cutouts for the standoffs, and I'll have standoffs there holding it about, I don't know, about that high, and that's kind of what mine will look like. Uh, my power supply here is a little uh, 12 volt 2 amp. In the end I'm going to put a 3 amp in this box. Um, I'm going with a 3 amp only because I don't want much heat coming out of the power supply just because this box will be sealed and uh, yeah, don't want it to warm up too much. I am going to put a thermometer on here just so I can uh, monitor the temps inside, but uh, yeah. So um, this is the mega board here. Uh, this handles everything. Um, if you didn't want to use my connector board, as I was saying, these are all the headers for the connections. Um, some of those pins are for this connector, this one, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so if you didn't want this board, you can make your connections there and power it up all through here. Um, it'll be a little tougher for you because uh, to hook up to the display, you do need the RJ45, or you'll have to just hardwire um, one end, the eight different wires, well six actually, two are spare, uh, to that header. And then your other end, if you have this board here, it simply plugs in. I'll show you that after. Um, so anyways, on the mega board we have our Ethernet, um, our SD card, and a bunch of noise filtering. Uh, this here I see is for communicating um, with the display. And underneath there we've got a couple more uh, buck converters. Here's another one here. This one puts out 3.3 volts, and it's to power up the ethernet and anything else 3 volts, like the fish feeder. Um, and then next, about here, there is a 5 volt uh, regulator, which powers the whole system, and uh, on this end, anyways, not on the display. And then uh, we've got another 5 volt uh, regulator, which is isolated, uh, which powers up the relays. Um, we want to keep the relays isolated so that noise doesn't get into this board and any noise that still does get into it it's taken care of with a lot of bypass caps and things like that uh, good isolations for the grounds and all that um, I'm not good at explaining it but it's there and it works <laughs> so underneath this is what it looks like nothing there really um, oh actually I forgot we've got the IC there uh, that is for um, controlling the LEDs, uh, that's the 12-bit uh, chip, and these two wires here are power going to our uh, relay board. So the relay board down here, the way it's powered up, let's see if I can get that out of there, it doesn't want to cooperate, but anyways, we've got two power sources going into this relay board, um, I'm just going to put it in there. This one here goes to 5 volts, which comes off this buck, and then this here is 5 volts in ground, which comes off this buck. Uh, this one here powers up the actual board, and this one here powers up the relays. So we've got isolation for our power sources. And to connect the relays, we're using uh, this header. It's just an 8-pin header on a ribbon cable. If you plug it in backwards, uh, the only thing that's going to happen is the relays will be reversed. So, nothing major. It's coming apart here. Okay, so, and then here we've got our pH stamp. Um, what I've done there, I'll see all these wires running to it, looks kind of hacked, but what I'm going to do is put this in a little project box of its own, put a DB9 connector on here run these three wires to that connector and then the connector will go to the box or a cable rather from that connector will go to the box to get that going. 
reason I'm doing that and not mounting this in the box is because my uh, probe is limited. It's only got two feet of cable and I just prefer to have the box instead of getting an extension, a breakout box. So yeah, so for now I've just powered it up with the five volts off this board, the ground, and this goes here to our analog zero pin on the Mega. Um, we've got extra five volts, extra three volts, and extra 12 volts. And then um, if you want it to, I kind of did this just for myself, but um, because I'll be doing a lot of programming in that. And now that I have it set up, I don't need it because I have a lot of room for the programming port. But in my last setup, I didn't. So I put a USB-B connector on here, but technically that will end up being just a spare as are these four USBs on the bottom. Um, those are all spares for future upgrades. And this one here is for, our, uh, I believe, the water temperature. This is for the air. Um, it controls the DH uh, T22, that little guy there. That gives us ten pin humidity. And this one here um, is for uh, the air temperature. Or no, the light temperature, sorry. Light, light, air, water. And the only difference between these two jacks is this one has a 10K resistor at the back. I don't know if you can see that. And these ones have 4.7K resistors. Then over here, this is where we plug in our display. Um, this is for our Ethernet. And this is for the dosing pumps, which are right here. We've got four dosing pumps. Uh, they're just mounted in this project box. There's no circuitry involved. Um, all the circuitry is on the board there, so it's just uh, hook up ground and posi to each pump, and you're good to go. And then you got your RJ45 and plug it in. So let's power this up here. So we'll take this, and there are markings on the board. Uh, you'll never see it on this camera, but. On the back it says display, dosing pumps, ethernet, so you can't mix them up. Now I'm going to plug this in here. They're nice easy jacks to work with. Um, so yeah, I like them. Now we'll just plug in one more. I think the short one is your lights. Okay. And this is, before we plug this in, um, the display in the board. It's got the RJ45 jack on it to do. And uh, the display. Let's get to take that off. And if we look at our board, we've got our SD card, our RTC chip. Um, that's the DS1307. Uh, in a few months, I am going to upgrade it to the DS3231, I believe. It's more accurate, so. When that happens, um, this just needs to be desoldered. Um, there's like six pins there, I believe. And solder in the new RTC and upload, you're good to go. So yeah, that's it there. This has its own um, buck converter on board and a couple ICs for communicating back to uh, the Mega and um, uh, EEPROM they call it <laughs> for memory uh, so when we power down it knows where it was at and then our little uh, photo cell for seeing our light. So let's put this down and get our display plugged in again. And if I can find the end, so put one end into there. And we've got our other end plugged in there. I'm using a 25 foot just standard Cat 5E cable. It's all bundled up there. And here's our power. So let's add some juice. Here the relays power up. It just told them what state to go in. They did that. And there we go. So we've got an NE at the top because we don't have our uh, water plugged in. That plugged in, and that'll change. And while I'm at it, we'll unplug this one. And there, so it knows when it's in and when it's not. 
and that's basically it. That sound when we push something and our pH. I don't know about that probe, if it's any good anymore. It's been sitting around for months. I've uh, been keeping it in the cup here, trying to keep water in it. It's almost evaporated on me a couple times. But... And just for the heck of it, let's get our pump going. Oh, we got to plug them in. <laughs> okay, so we're plugged in. One so you can do a manual dose, that's what I'm doing right now. And just to show you something here. So we've got five doses in there. Well let's go with this one. Two. Oops. Ah. Sorry about this horrible video lights bouncing off the screen. But that's it. She won't run no more because it is empty. Refill it. And we're good to go. Again. So that's the hardware part of it. Basically all you gotta worry about is mounting this board and then mount your display in a little project box. One cord going into it mount this put that on your desk or whatever and hide this mess behind your aquarium you're good to go